way in which the system is functioning. And when you realize how hard people prepare for these examinations, these young people who have put other things aside in their life to prepare and work so hard, um, they are completely deprived of, of, of any fair justice. I think it's shocking. I think it really this shows there's something fundamentally rotten in the way in which the system is functioning. And when you realize how hard people prepare for these examinations, these young people who have put other things aside in their life to prepare and work so hard, um, they are completely deprived of, of, of any fair justice. 24 lakhs took the first exam. They were weird marks, no one could understand. 11 lakhs took the exam. Now they've got to take it again. This is a terrible situation, and the government has to get its act together. Because now that uh, they have taken on the responsibility of creating a national testing agency and providing these kinds of, uh, of, of national examinations and requiring these examinations, then they've got to be conducted in a more objective manner. And this ridiculous practice of paper leaks ought to be punished very stringently. Because the fact is that you start leaking papers to your favorites, you end up destroying the entire hopes of a generation. This has to stop. The Congress party has called a nationwide protest tomorrow, sir, exactly. uh, uh, for this uh, is, uh, series of scams. What you would like to say, sir? Uh, adding to this, uh, Vijay Sinha, deputy CM of, uh, of Bihar, he has said that uh, Tejasvi Yado uh, is involved, his aide is involved in this uh, neat paper leak. Well, if there are any charges, let us see what the proof is brought to a court. Uh, I'm not going to start getting into individual cases. But we are protesting the principle of the thing. I mean, you cannot abuse people in this manner. And it's a, it's a betrayal of an entire generation. We will simply not accept it. Rahul Gandhi he has did a press conference uh, an hour back. He has said that uh, it, uh, it was being said that Modi ji stopped Russia-Ukraine war. But due to some reasons, Narendra Modi has not able to stop or doesn't want to stop paper leaks in India, sir. That's a very good question. You know, why are there so many examples of leaks, story after story? We actually put into our manifesto that we would pass a stringent law against this and take severe action against paper leaks. We understand what it represents for young people to study, prepare for an examination, all their hopes for the future, future admissions, future jobs, and so on, rest on these examinations. They ought to be completely above suspicion. And the importance of this cannot be overstated. I'm very glad that Rahulji, the Congress party, we are all standing up very, very firmly to indicate to the public that this is something we know matters to the people in this country, the young, aspiring youth of our country, and we will not let them down. So will the India Alliance raise up all these matters related to students, uh, related to NEET, UG, uh, examination cancels, uh, ca being cancelled in the parliament? So Inevitably, the an issue of this importance will have to be raised. Right now, let's go through the swearing-in and so on next week, and then we'll see.